to help in this effort as the governor. I'm, I'm authorized uh, to provide a reward, and we're doing so, a $25,000 reward for uh, the apprehension, uh, the arrest, and the conviction of this individual. And we want to remind you, the last thing I'll say is, we need you to be vigilant. We need you to provide information. We need you to help law enforcement because it's very important to the state of Tennessee and to the citizens of our state that we apprehend. It's important for the family of Deborah, and we're, we, we appreciate all of your help in apprehending this very dangerous uh, individual. So it's my understanding that someone did uh, check on Deborah. Yes. In her role, uh, in terms of uh, Ms. Johnson, did she have regular contact with So Deborah had been in the department for 38 years. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, she had a great relationship with both staff and inmates in the TDOC system. Many, a lot of inmates knew who Deborah was. Uh, she was very personal and she uh, was very respected uh, with the inmate population. In regards to this particular inmate, I don't have any uh, knowledge of specific uh, communications or a direct link with the inmate, but it's not uh, uncommon for her to know uh, these inmates that work on the property. And she lived in the property? Uh, she lived. Sure, we have had, uh, we've had now over 75 tips uh, that, that uh, place uh, the suspect in a number of places uh, throughout the state as well as other states. And so, uh, we are following up on every tip that we receive. Uh, the ones that we feel are most credible, we're checking them first, uh, and then we're, we're working from that. Uh, but uh, th there have been a number of, of uh, alleged sightings. We have yet to locate uh, him at any of those uh, uh, places that we've been reported.